Good morning. All are welcome here as we gather for a time of prayer and reflection on this Tuesday morning. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love, O God, that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Praise to the blessed and holy Trinity, one God, who gives us life, salvation, and resurrection. The Son of Righteousness will arise with healing in his wings. Oh, come, let us worship and praise. This morning we continue to focus on the sense of sight. So I'd like to share with you a piece that I wrote as part of our Advent devotions last year, inspired by the word, see. I'm turning to the Psalms again today. Psalm 10 begins with a challenging question of God. Why, O oh Lord, do you stand far off? Why do you hide yourself in times of trouble? The psalmist recites the actions of the wicked, creating a list that could have been written today devising schemes, boasting of their desires, deceiving and oppressing, persecuting the poor. Let me stop for a moment here and insert an addition to this piece. I recently read an article by Daniel Johns Evans, whose wife, Rachel Held Evans, died on May 4th, 2019 at the age of 37, two weeks before her daughter's first birthday. Daniel writes about both the grief and the paperwork that consumed him after Rachel's tragic death, including a final notice received for a helicopter flight from one in-network hospital to another. The price tag, $61,999 after insurance paid 8,000. Daniel writes, no one should risk bankruptcy for a trip to the ER. We shouldn't need crowdfunding to stay afloat in seas of hospital bills while trying to keep our families' lives stable. Listen to the psalm through the lens of this one man's suffering, through the lens of this broken system. Their eyes stealthily watch for the helpless. They lurk in secret like a lion in its covert. They lurk that they may seize the poor. They seize the poor and drag them off in their net. They stoop, they crouch, and the helpless fall by their might. They think in their heart, God has forgotten. He has hidden his face. He will never see it. And here's where the psalm takes an interesting turn. Even though the psalmist has accused God of standing far off and hiding in times of trouble, even though the psalmist is painfully aware of the predators that capture the poor and drag them away from home and health and hope, now the psalmist counters the thoughts of the wicked with a proclamation of trust. Where the wicked think God has forgotten, has hidden his face, will never see it, the psalmist declares, but you do see. Indeed, you note trouble and grief that you may take it into your hands. God sees. 
God sees the injustices that wreak havoc on the lives of God's beloved. God sees the predatory practices that prey on the most vulnerable among us. God sees the sorrow, the hopelessness, the fear. God notes trouble and grief, looks at them intently in order to do something about them. God doesn't look away or refuse to intervene. God sees and God acts. After a time of questioning and lament, the psalmist lands in a place of hope and trust. I pray we might land there too. God holds the trouble and grief of this world in hands scarred by the nails that pierced them. We are seen by a God who refuses to stand far off while the world suffers, but instead comes among us in the word made flesh and sends the spirit to equip us to be the hands and feet, heart and mind of the risen Christ in the world today so that we might see, so that we might act on God's behalf. Thanks be to God. Amen. My soul cries out with a joyful shout that the God of my heart is great. And my spirit sings of the wondrous things that you bring to the ones who wait. You fixed your sight on your servant's plight and my weakness you did not spurn. So from east to west shall my name be blessed, could the world be about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away our tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though I am small, my God, my all, you work great things in me. And your mercy will last from the depths of the past to the end of the age to be. Your very name puts the proud to shame and to those who would for you yearn. You will show your might, put the strong to flight, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. From the halls of power to the fortress tower, not a stone will be left on stone. Let the king beware, for your justice tears every tyrant from his throne. The hungry poor shall weep no more, for the food they can never earn. There are tables spread, every mouth be fed, for the world is about to turn. My heart shall sing of the day you bring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away all tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. Though the nations rage from age to age, we remember who holds us fast. God's mercy must deliver us from the conqueror's crushing grasp. This saving word that our forebears heard is the promise which holds us bound. Till the spear and rod can be crushed by God, who is turning the world around. My heart shall sing of the day you 
spring, let the fires of your justice burn. Wipe away our tears, for the dawn draws near, and the world is about to turn. The Lord be with you. Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power, that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, bless us and direct our days and our deeds in peace. Amen.